are things that confront you in this life that even if you are Elijah you will run away to hide so my own challenge is that I need $30,000, $50,000 to go and continue my postgraduate abroad. I don't have a father. I don't have a mother. Yet every time I go to bed, I see myself as a PhD holder. I see myself as a professor from one of the Ivy League universities, colleges abroad. How is this going to happen? Let me tell you, they looked unto him, my Bible says, and their faces were lightened. Provided you can look beyond your pay peter if you keep looking at the sea you will sink but if you look onto jesus one step after the other you will find out that you are able to walk on water i'm sure that if we call our mother out and tell her please tell us the story the journey of this ministry she will tell you that there were times that she stood and said god you are my only help if you do not lead me I have nowhere to go there is something I know about God he likes the sound of surrender and dependence he likes the sound of surrender and dependence hallelujah my dear friend and brother is here pastor Shola we were talking about it this morning he woke up like every other preacher happy to start a conference and had even done videos inviting people and about a few hours to the conference the entire church was gutted by fire not a single chair was taken out of it i'm sure i'm sure you all saw it there is something about god when you know ba, even when you cry you will still say i know that there is an end to this we strongly believe your life is going to receive a quantum shift after this message. Please do well to subscribe, like and share this video to bless the lives of many out there. Stay tuned to the end. That your tears will no longer be tears of hopelessness. You will cry because you are human, but you will still be singing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs as the tears come. Ah, you, you, you know that though he slay me, yet will I trust him that all the days of my appointed time, I will wait. While the promise is still coming, I will wait. I will wait as I believe him. I've not seen my dreams and visions come to pass. Lord, I know what you told me last year. I know what you told me in January. I know I, I thought by now that certain things would have happened in your life, in my life. But even now, I still wait upon you. I look unto you. Because thou art the fountain of life. It is in your life that we see light. Someone lay your hands on your head in one minute. And say, Father, the grace to look unto you. The grace to depend on you. Someone is praying. A serious believer is praying. I look unto you. I may cry, but I will wait on you. I may weep, but I will wait on you. It may tell on my human nature, but I will wait. It pays to wait. It pays to look unto Jesus. In Jesus' name, Apostle Paul began to teach us in Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 1. Here's what he says. Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, he says, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us. Then he says to run with patience or with perseverance the race that is set before us. I like verse 2. Looking on to Jesus. This is how to run such that you win. Looking on to Jesus. He calls him the author and the finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him that he endured the cross he despised the shame and is today set at the right hand of god can i tell you something no matter what you are going through today hear it from me it has an end the bible says surely there is an end there is absolutely nothing that is new under the sun 
let me speak a word of hope for someone the thing that was is the thing that is and is the thing that is to come there is nothing new under the sun rent issue it is not new looking for the fruit of the womb it is not new looking for a spouse it is not new weeping over someone who has transited it is not new trusting God to pay your rent it is not new trusting God to own your home it is not new trusting God to be a graduate is not new everything that you see that you desire has happened to someone before and the Bible says follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise you are not the first to start ministry you are not the first to desire longevity in ministry you are not the first to desire the fruit of the womb you are not the first to desire a spouse you are not the first to desire a job it has happened before and there were people who triumphed over it it says hear my cry O lord attend unto my prayer from the ends of the earth will i call unto you that when my heart is overwhelmed it says lead me to the rock there is a rock that is higher than i that rock is jesus that rock is jesus that when men look unto him their faces become lightened so waiting upon the lord number one refers to an orientation a mentality of total dependence you can fast and pray but not with a mentality that knows that if God does not help me I cannot go further you did not wait upon the Lord waiting upon the Lord does not start with an activity it starts with an orientation an orientation an orientation God if you do not help me there is no way out total dependent I like how Proverbs chapter 3 puts it from verse 5 to 7 here's what it says trust in the Lord abundant life hear me trust in the Lord the Bible says with all your heart it says and lean not unto your own understanding verse 6 says in all your ways how many in all your ways acknowledge him the word acknowledge is a very important word acknowledge does not mean to recognize him to place so much priority on him that he knows that without him you cannot move further acknowledge him and he shall direct your path verse 7 says be not wise in your own understanding fear the Lord and turn away from evil but they that wait upon the Lord is a mysterious strategy that has bailed many weak people out of life's vicissitudes hallelujah still speaking about pastor shola you need to go back and take a visit in that church and you will know that god reigns over the affairs of men i believe that god used that event to speak a message to the body of christ that it doesn't matter where you find yourself regretting over where you are will not solve the problem but he told abraham he said lift up your eyes even you if your feet cannot get there your eyes can go there lift up your eyes from where you are not where you want to be from where thou art take your eyes northward southward eastward westward he said, as far as your eyes can see i have given unto you as an inheritance hallelujah to look on to Jesus to have an orientation that my entire life's journey depends on the supply of grace and help that comes from him is the first thing the Bible refers to as waiting upon the Lord it no doubt we strongly believe your life has been transformed already at the course of this message please do follow us daily for more spiritual contents that will defy your spiritual life and growth God bless you. See you on our next video.